What's up everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. Like expected, the Pokemon company has finally officially revealed more information on these new games alongside a trailer. And although some of you may see it as a repeat from Koro Koro at first, there's actually a lot more to it. The trailer begins off briefly showcasing the 5 gyms and their leaders. Like in other remakes, it was expected for a few gyms to get a whole new design instead of using the same base design from the original games. And out of the 5 revealed so far, only Brawly's gym and Dufort Town seems to have changed, with the other 4 maintaining the same idea. Norman's gym in Petalburg City is literally the exact same, with the option of entering one of two doors in each room until you get to the gym leader. The Rustboro City gym seems to have a lot more trainers and a more maze-like design, and the bird's eye view angle adds to that maze look. Not much can be made out of Brawly's gym as it seems to have a new design, but look, it's literally a gym. He's working out and becoming less like Brawly and more like Broly. The Marvel City gym is similar to its old self but with two electrical currents to make it similar to the Snowbell City gym in X and Y, and Watson is as jolly as ever. The Lava Ridge Town gym keeps the same idea of holes that act as warp tiles, but in an overall more cleaner and better design. But I find it weird how in the original games there was steam everywhere and in these remakes there's water everywhere. Following that, they show us the two first members of the Elite Four and their rooms. Like in X and Y, there's a cutscene as you interact with them, and instead of having 3D models in battle like important characters like Maxi and Archie, they use the same 2D image. But the room itself is its usual simple room with the door at the front and end. This means that the members are fought in order, and unlike X and Y, you don't choose which members you want to fight. But one thing to note that is ending a lot of speculation is the fact that Sydney's bracelet and Phoebe's anklet don't appear to actually have Mega Keystones on them, and the other two members won't have one as well, which means that the champion will probably be the only one out of the Pokemon League to carry a Mega Evolution. But don't be too disappointed, as we were kind of asking a lot from Game Freak, and it would be oversaturating if every member of the Elite Four had one. There's a plus to both sides. But another thing to note is the fact that they only showed 5 gym leaders and 2 members of the Elite Four. Could this mean that there may be a change in gym leaders or Elite Four members and they're just hiding it for now? Or are they just pulling our legs like usual? They then show us the 5 Pikachu in their outfits like we saw in Korokoro Koro a few days ago, and one of them appears to be using a move. It's speculated that this is the contest area where 4 contestants will use moves and compete to win a prize. There is still very little information on this, and it seems possible that you may be able to dress up your Pokemon to look a certain way, like cute or smart for these contests. Which scares me, because I do not want to see this become a thing. Following that, they show us gameplay of Airune, the secret base expert, explaining secret bases to us. And right here, you can see a vine leading up to a secret base entrance in a tree, like in the original games. I think it looks amazing, and it's definitely going to be interesting to walk around the region and noticing caves in the walls, vines on a tree, and openings in shrubs. Right here, you can see the player using a secret base PC, and we can make a lot out of this. First off, you can have a custom title for your team, as seen by the team name at the top. Along with being able to manage your QR codes, you can apparently also delete favorites. Now we don't know what these favorites could be, and if it were an item, it would go under the decorate your base option, which means it's likely a player, or specifically a secret pal. And finally, you could edit your team settings and open a list of secret bases added to your game. The way you decorate your base looks a lot cleaner, and like mentioned in earlier videos, more than just 16 items can be placed. Additionally, while decorating, items that can be rotated will have the left and right icon at the bottom right. Judging by the way the players can just walk past the trainers in this secret base gym, it's possible that the trainers you add to your base don't force battles, but maybe it's just a setting and forced battles can be turned on or off. And finally, they end off the trailer showing the recently hyped Mega. Metagross can be seen Mega evolving into Mega Metagross and then Meteor matching a Swampert. Mega Metagross retains its Steel Psychic typing and gets the ability Tough Claws. It also gets a significant speed boost as well as smaller boost to the rest of its stats. So that means this thing is a tank, a powerhouse, and fast now? I don't know about you, but I do not want to get Meteor Mashed by this thing. But anyways, that's it for this trailer breakdown analysis. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on this trailer, especially on whether you think the Elite Four will still be able to carry Mega Evolutions on their team or not. There's gonna be a coverage video on other things revealed alongside this trailer very soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.